And then you, you start looking at your life. As you look at it, you're aging, you're progressing. Death is set in this physical body. But in God's mind, He's got a photograph of me and you when we were young. <laughs> he took an eternal photograph. And in his mind, he doesn't see you where you are now. He sees you as you was meant to be. Amen. Whom God did foreknow, he also did predestinate. And them who he called, he also justified. And them he justified, he also has already what? Glorified. You're already a glorified son and daughter of God in the mind of God from the foundation of the world. And guess what? God don't change his mind about how he sees you. Amen, Amen church. And you know how pictures are developed? Take him down to the dark room. Get down to the dark room. And in the dark room is where it's really developed. Brother, we've come through a dark world, but God's developing something. Amen. He's got something to come out. When it comes out, it's going to be magnificent what God's going to do. This resurrection is going to be wonderful for the children of God. The changing of our bodies, but I just don't think words can describe how wonderful it's going to be. You don't feel like shouting now, you'll want to shout on that day. This man is unfolding a mystery, a mystery that's held true for 2,000 years and is still just as true tonight as when Paul wrote it. And I believe we finally arrived to the group that reads it that's going to experience that. We have to, church. We're too far along now. Seeds done come back to seed again. But Bible said the combine's already out there. It's, he, he called this harvest time. Seeds done went in the ground through the reformation, come back out, stalk, tassel, shuck, back to seed again. It ain't going back to the ground again. No, the combine's coming going to gather his wheat into the barn. That means take his church up into glory. Change our bodies. And I tell you, night we ain't following a pale horse rider. I tell you by the name of God, we ain't following no pale horse rider. We ain't following death. We're following a white horse rider. And that white horse rider is life. And that life is his word. That brother Walker had that dream of brother Branham. Stood up on that big white horse. Come on, church. Said the third time you spoke, you spoke with authority. It was different, brother. When that sword struck his hand, that was different then. This wasn't just a sword, a sword of a man. This was the king's sword. And the probably God said, it fit my hand perfectly. What was that? That's thus saith the Lord. That's the word of God given out to this age. We ain't just following any horse. We're following this word. This word is pregnant with power. Come on, Rebecca, won't you water it tonight? Won't you water this Holy Ghost? Won't you say, feed me, Lord. Give me faith in that word. Let me accept that as mine. If nobody else can, let it be mine. Give me a revelation that that's my name in the book. And he said, this vowel body, here, this one, this vowel body will be changed and will receive a body like unto his own glorious body. That future home, excuse me, and that marriage supper will all have a body like his. That millennium will all have a body. Groom and bride have the exact same body. Brother, I'm not gonna hold you long tonight, but the devil's gonna sit in that millennium a thousand years handcuffed. He's gonna be bound for 1,000 years. He ain't gonna be sitting over there with somebody putting a handcuff, a little chain on him, but he's gonna be bound by a chain of circumstances. He ain't gonna have nobody to work through. We're all gonna have a body like his body. He can work in this fallen one, but he can't work in that glorified one. He can work in this one that come by sexual desire, but he can't go work in that one that's gonna come by the created spoken word of God. He'll have no power on that day. He'll stand there for 1,000 years without anything to do. Boy, you talk about an unemployment line. Him and them demons ain't gonna have nothing to do for a thousand years. That ain't a theory. That ain't a fairy tale. That's thus saith the Lord. That's the word of God. Amen. Now, death is merely a gateway to a glorious resurrection. Death is a temporary separation 
And resurrection leads us to reunion. Let me get me. You say, I ain't got strength to get across. The devil's gonna send something and get me. No, the Holy Ghost will come and get you. Amen. The Holy Ghost will pass you away. Angels of God will pass you away. Amen. You think when you go down in them hospital beds and then like your mother and father's dying, they ain't dying by themselves. They ain't dying by themselves. My daddy didn't die by himself. My mama didn't die by themselves. Angels of God came to pack their soul away. Amen. 